<laughs> I barely got there. I think I'm empty. No, I'm not. <laughs> now I am. Oh, I didn't know y'all came to the Slugfest. Hickok 45 here, enjoying the KSG 25 with a little slug slinging. I knew you would never forgive us if we didn't do a little slug festing while we had this thing. So that's what we're doing. And now it's time to reload. That's my reload. <laughs> okay, finally. Cowboy. Shooting tree. <laughs> And hit it. There we go. <laughs> smoky, smoky. <laughs> and we're finally empty. Woo! Those are smoky. Now you're wondering how I was able to shoot so many even though it does hold 20, 24, 25 rounds, uh, those were mini shells, okay? You probably noticed a variation, I know I did, in the power factor too. Uh, several of them were almost like squib loads, uh, so I would not recommend those for home defense. Let me put it that way. <laughs> what a variation. I mean, wow. A couple of those had about 100 feet per second, I think. I could have thrown them further. And then others were almost full power. So. Thought I'd start out with a lot of ammo, and uh, and just to show you again that the mini shells do do cycle well in these things. In fact, I'm suspicious. I almost think the mini shells cycle better in this KSG than the, the regular <laughs> shells. So, uh, but they're not quite as strong as powerful. But now, when they operate, uh, I don't know. I've not noticed that variation uh, in the others I have fired. But when you don't get that variation with the mini shells, they seem okay. They would probably be plenty powerful. I don't know. I just check those out. There's not many people that make those. That's the problem. So you don't have a lot of choices on the mini shells. But it is nice to, to know it, it uh, cycles them just fine. So here we are with the Slugfest. And uh, I'm not really that winded, but it is a lot of shooting. And <laughs> it gets heavy, uh, especially fully loaded. Now with the slugs, I think it just held about 18 in each tube, so you're really undergunned, right? Uh, you know, <laughs> two tubes, 18 in each tube. But uh, with the shot and the mini shells, it does, I believe it was holding 20, yeah, in each, each tube for me, so that's a lot of ammo. And of course, even with regular two and three quarters, it holds, uh, you know, 25, basically, if you have one in the chamber, 22 in each, each tube. So that's the claim to fame as, as we talked about in the other video, okay? I'll link to the original video with it. And, uh, and you know, I think we answered pretty much all we know about the thing in that video. If something else comes to mind, some more stories I can make up, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, uh, I'll load it here while I'm, I'm gabbing. And uh, again, slugs are just fun. You know, I enjoy the slug, oh, slug fest uh, so much. We gotta watch it loading this thing. You get your finger cut that little clip that holds it in there. You can pull down on it. Yeah, just push it in and take a chance. Okay, it's, it's got such a sharp edge on it. It'll be dark. I didn't have enough slugs out. Let me get a couple more out. Uh, oh boy. Now, you, yeah, I, I knew you'd never forgive me if we didn't do a slug fest with this thing. So, <laughs> I figured I'd just have to load it one or twice total probably because uh, Oh, we've already shot uh, almost 40 slugs. Mm. And I've saved some of the best targets for these full power slugs. 
right. All right, man. Well, I don't know how many is it going to hold. You load it on Sunday and shoot it all week. It's one of those, isn't it? I thought I had enough out there. It didn't count right, I guess. Not a big surprise since I'm from Kentucky, right? There we go. We have finally filled her up. So should be about 20 per magazine. Now it varies. Well, no, 22 per magazine. It varies uh, based on the length of the shells, we've noticed. Now, I know it wouldn't make a difference if you had three inch shells or three and a half or you know, two and three quarters, but you know, sometimes a two and three quarters, just enough variance, one two and three quarter shell or one three inch shell from various companies or the type of load it is might just be such a, a, a hair longer. And then by the time you get you know, 20 of those or, or 12 or 30, whatever in a tube, then that adds up to just enough to where maybe it won't hold that extra round or something. So no charge for that physics lesson. This time, this time. All right, so now we got the real deal. Oh, it's hot, needs smoking. A slug will do it, a slug will. Oh, and a cat litter bottle, Woo! or whatever it is. Oh, a two liter sitting up there. If a slug won't do it, I'm not sure what will. Let's go there and wake up Mr. Gong, since we had a little trouble hitting him with the mini shells. Yeah, he knows he's awake now. Let's go to the uh, shootsomesteel.com target. <laughs> Just like a rifle. Oh, uh, there's a sheep over there, or a goat. Yeah, there was. There it was. All right, now, don't hang up on me. There we go. Sometimes, going forward and getting the shell in there, it, it acts like it wants to hang up on you. You got to watch him. Uh, what was I going to shoot? Let's try the other uh, goat. Ooh, it went hot. <laughs> I guess I got him on the leg or something too low. Let's try that cinder block. You notice uh, I hit him with a mini shell first. Let's try right beside that if I can. Can't see the sight very well. Well, <laughs> low recoil. <laughs> Don't know about that. Yep, click. Are we out of ammo? No, we're not. Flip the switch and reload that baby. Yeah, that's all it takes. I think I see a bucket of water. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, might as well get this watermelon while we're at it. Whoa! Whew. Such power. All right, time for the five gallon bucket. <sighs> Hate to do this to you. <laughs> Let's go bowling. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> Knocks the heck out of him, doesn't it? Oh man. Ah, let's go back to the gong. <laughs> Good, we got another one to put on him. <laughs> There's another one. And there's more. It just shoots all day. Let's go for a buffalo. Uh, let's get that one down there on the right. We just neglect him. <laughs> That's not neglect. <laughs> Tell you what, you, you get to shoot a while when you load this thing up. Uh, wow, a lot of slugs. Uh, <laughs> devastation. I, as I've said before, there's not much more fun than shooting slugs. And many of you have done it. You know what I'm talking about. It's uh, your own little personal howitzer. It doesn't have to be a KSG 25. Uh, it can be your, your $200 Remington or whatever, Winchester shotgun, whatever it is. It, it turns it into a howitzer and uh, one of the most powerful handheld firearms that you can fire. It really does. And it's, it's fun. It, it is. I mean, you know, maybe I'm sick. Maybe you're sick for watching me but it is a lot of fun. Uh, 
So, wow, two go rounds in this thing. Uh, so, uh, be sure you look at the other video. I uh, just didn't want to send this thing back for the e-gunner auction uh, without doing a slug fest. Uh, maybe by the time you see this, somebody has this in your hands. It's yours. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting gun. Uh, as we've said before, it's either really easy to short shuck. Now, I didn't have too much trouble today. Seems to be loosening up. Uh, this is our last video go around probably with it. Uh, and uh, didn't have too much trouble at one time I did so uh, And that's kind of the, the KSG is Famous infamous for that being easy to short shuck. I think almost any of these bullpup uh, shotguns and uh, And then too even on the, the forward getting around it sometimes it's it's not often but it uh, yeah, you know getting it into battery but by and large, it's, it's working. It seems to be working better now we've shot it a lot more. We've probably put uh, all total uh, over 200 rounds through it. Uh, so things be getting broken in. I don't know, time tells on any of these kinds of things. But the thing is the KSG is out there. There's no big secrets about the KSG. Uh, this one just has longer barrel, longer tubes, magazine tubes. So anyway, uh, we blew everything up here with it. Uh, quite a load you get this thing loaded totally 25 rounds or if you want to trust mini shells you know you could have 40 in it but you saw the variation I guess you could tell in the video uh, a couple of those just one of them barely got out the barrel I saw it, it just drew rainbow down into the leaves over there uh, so I definitely am not sure I would trust those things but anyway the KSG 25 uh, on a slug fest uh, lots of fun and I uh, hope you had some fun too. I know you didn't get to shoot as much as I did, but uh, I kind of enjoyed it. So anyway, glad you came by. It's kind of chilly out here. While you all sit in your warm living room and have hot coffee, we're out here suffering in the cold for you. Just kidding. We enjoy it. Life is good. That's pretty good. Wait a minute. Are you guys still here? All right, well, since you're here, let me tell you guys about our friends over at SDI. You can check them out at sdi.edu. They are a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can be certified in gunsmithing or get an associate's degree in firearms technology. So if you think that's something that you'd be interested in, go over to sdi.edu, check that out. Also, our friends over at Valtech, valtechsafes.com. Don't forget to check them out. You've seen their safes on the shooting table many times in our videos. Cool little pistol safes and uh, a lot of different options for them and stuff. Also, check out um, shootsomesteel.com. We have a lot of steel targets from them. So, you know, go check their website out. I see all they have. And also, if you want to see us in different places out on the interwebs, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Hickok45 on Facebook. There's a John Hickok Facebook, which is who I am. There's a the real Hickok45 on Instagram. And then there's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram, which is my stuff. And then there's um, also a Hickok45 and Son YouTube channel. And there's uh, full30.com. There's also, we have a website too, hickok45.com. You can access a lot of our information over there. It's still kind of a work in progress. Um, and then there's our t-shirts are over there too. So uh, check all that stuff out if that's something that you're interested in But just wanted to remind you of it and appreciate you guys for watching the videos and I'll see you later